after swimming with millions of sardines for three days in Moalbol, it was time for us to say goodbye and start making our way to the next island. So let me show you how we backpackers usually travel to the next destination. We started from Moalbol and took a bus ride for two and a half hours to our hotel for the night. These buses typically pass every 30 minutes, so just wait at the nearest bus stop and then hop on. We paid around 200 pesos or so, then Bali looked on booking.com for a hostel close to the port, and of course, always check the reviews because that is a must do before booking a place just to be safe. This is where we're gonna stay for the night till six in the morning tomorrow where we're gonna get up very early and take a ferry. It is 5.30. We just got ready um, for the day because we are heading to the ferry right now. And then we will hopefully get a ticket to board the ferry to Sikior. So we got a ticket, lucky for us, and we even had enough time to go get some, yeah, some breakfast. So yeah, and look how blue the water is here. We always want to be there at least one hour before departure. You can also book the ticket online or just go and check it out. Traveling here in the Philippines is always about being prepared that something is not gonna go right because of bad weather, typhoon, etc. So be ready to stay longer and improvise. Philippine force. The owner of the homestay we booked offered to pick us up and the best part of this place is yet to come. All the puppies. Just trying to help you carry the back. What are you doing? Finally made it to our hotel. I love it. It's pretty nice. I'll give you a room tour next time. But uh, the puppies are crazy. <laughs> Such a huge bed. And this place smells amazing. Smell it. Yeah, it smells amazing. Nice bathrooms. Wow. That's a closet. Nice. But I, st I still feel like the best. Well, I mean, I mean, besides all of this, just the the puppies. Literally at the entrance, as soon as you walk in, there's like what five, six, five six, six, seven puppies all running around, just trying to help you carry your luggage. <laughs> this is all outside of our room. It's all very pretty. I think those are more rooms, and this room right here is ours. And uh, it's, pretty, it's, it's, it's a homestay, right? So they, uh, this, this is where they live and they just rent out these other houses. But before we explore Siki Hor, I'm gonna take a nap. Oh. oh my God. See you in a bit. Well, that was like a two hour nap. Now I guess we can explore the city a little bit, find some food because uh, we're kind of starving a little bit. Thank you.
What is that? Coconut. Pork menudo because you have uh, patatas. Oh. Hey. And this is just chicken? No. Mm. Also, okay. Pork. Hey. Pork soup. Do you have any chicken? Uh -huh. No chicken? No chicken. Only fish. Only mm -hmm. fish. You just have a chicken there. Is there one? Uh, I'll do the adobo and with rice. For me, it's with rice. Onion rice. Oh, you got the potato one? Yes. I got the adobo pork, which is one of my favorite ones. It's so, so good. It's like a little, it's like a little bit Swedish. Really good. So here's a quick tip. If you want to find affordable food, just drive around and if you find like a spot where they have a bunch of pots, that usually where you're gonna find really good and cheap food. And there, you cannot find them on Google Maps or something. Mostly, they're just, yeah, families. Yeah, there just cooking drive, food. spot them. Yeah, and it's like most of the time, or actually, all the ones we've seen are silver pots. So if there's silver pots on the table, that's your place. Yeah, just park, check it out, say hello. You know, just check what they have. A lot of times it's poor, but you can find chicken, fish, a lot of things. But also veggies. Yeah, veggies too, but it's really good. We are currently on a hunt for a mango shake or some dessert related with mangoes because I know they're supposed to have like really, really good ones. What did you order? Halo, halo. A halo, halo. Yeah, it's basically kind of similar to what we had in Malaysia. The thing that Abu took us. The ice. The ice with stuff in it. Shredded ice? Yes, with stuff in it. So no mango, right? Not here. Maybe at the next one. Thank you. Thank you. What is this? What the? What? Literally, that's ice. That's cereal. Mm -hmm. That's ice cream. And this is what milk? I guess with milk. Oh my mm. God. I've never seen anything like this. What was the name again? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. It's very famous here. Wow, that's very interesting. What? Well, I like the ice cream, but I wonder what is the combination of all of it together. What is? It? Mm -hmm. It's really good. I mean, it's literally like a pretty much like a fruit salad, ice cream, cold milk with ice. It's interesting, but it's really good. I do like it. I approve. Mm -hmm. Thanks. As it turns out, they do have mango shake. <laughs> Does it go well with my shirt? That's excellent. Stylish. Mm -hmm. Very thick. Oh look, you will love this. The I straw know. is uh, paper. Definitely gotta try mango. Anything with related with mango, Philippines is your best choice.
as this day comes to an end, make sure you watch the next video where we are going to be exploring Siki Horror's best spots. So thank you for watching and we will see you in the next one.